It's the misanthropic one, aka He Who Hungers, and I'm back up in this bitch for another rant. The effeminization of black men. Uh, first off, shout out to Marvelous, aka Marvelous, the BBW King. I know this one you requested that I do, and uh, shout out to Truth Teller 410. Um, he's gonna be doing the part two to this. I know you requested, uh, Marvelous, that both of us do this, I should say. And, um, if you haven't subscribed to Truth Teller 410, go subscribe to him. I'll leave the link to his channel down there. Um, he's gonna be doing a part two. This is another one of our, um, ones you could chalk up in our collab series. There's gonna be a lot more to come. And, um, shout out to Truth Teller. And, um, feminine black men um where do i start uh you know this this subject has been covered you know several times by other youtubers uh other youtubers that i like and um you know i respect such as uh david carroll tommy sotomayor equacy 100 painless risen and some others they they've talked about this shit and um you know, uh, so I don't want to beat it to death the same way that they did because it, it, it will kind of be repetitive even though, you know, when shit doesn't change, you kind of kind of stay in the same process. The message has to stay the same. So I already understand that. So I'm going to come at it from a um, sort of from a uh, angle with an analogy, you know, just so, you know, because it seems like a lot of you Negroes don't get it. And um, let me let me let me say this too. Let me let me throw this out there because I have to uh, throw disclaimers out there because I know a lot of a lot of you niggas are sensitive and, and and shit. So when I'm saying effeminate men, I'm not talking about openly gay uh, or homosexual men. I'm not talking about that because. I could respect it if a man says, hey, look, this is just who I am, blah, 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 blah. Okay, cool. I, and I know people in my personal life that I've gotten along with that I, that I personally love that, you know, live that way, you know? So I don't have a, I don't really have a problem with that. If you're just saying, hey, this is who I am, that's no problem. Because let me tell you something, a person like that, I could respect and and I personally know some that are more manly than the men I'm referring to. The 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 men I'm referring to are the type of dudes that are quick to fly off the handle to go zero to one hundred within a microsecond. Um, these are the type of dudes that are um, very materialistic. They rationalize like women. Those type of dudes. That's what I mean by effeminate. And um, the analogy I want to hit you with is um you know i was talking to my friend the other day and i was thinking about how i'm gonna do this video and um you know, i was bullshitting with him and i was talking about this shit and he came up with something that was great and i was like holy shit you know because i was sort of thinking about you know how humans are animals and um he goes you know what you're talking about is sort of like you neutering a dog, you know? And I thought about it, I'm like, holy shit, that makes perfect fucking sense. Because when you, when you uh, neuter a dog, you're, you're changing it, you're manipulating what it intrinsically is. You are um, taking away, you know, what it is, it's personality for lack of a better word. And um, it starts doing things different outside his character that's the same thing that happens when you uh have these 
single black mothers who jumped on the white feminist movement, you know, during the, uh, uh, at the end, uh, around the civil rights era or at the end of the civil rights era. And they jumped on that white feminist movement and uh, they started running around talking about, you know, well, I don't need a man in the house. I don't need a man. I don't need a man. And that carried over. And, um, you know, they, they'll, they'll fuck with some of these dudes or they'll already have children with them. And at, at, if these children happen to be boys, what they're going to do is they're going to take on certain characteristics of the mother, i.e. they're going to uh, see this mom rationalize uh, very emotionally. She's not going to think anything through. She's going to get mad at any little thing. She's going to be on her period and get pissed off uh, because the, the, the sky has a cloud in it. And um, that's what these little boys are going to see and start emulating. And um, it's the same thing with that dog. When you neuter it, um, it becomes very tame. It becomes, uh, it, the eating habits will change, uh, behavioral habits. And uh, let, and miss me with this too, because I know people are going to say, well, uh, that's a good thing because you have to take care of a dog. I, I get that. But you get the analogy in a general sense that you're, I'm talking about changing its characteristics. This is what happens when you have a single black mom who runs around saying, I don't need a man. And, uh, they uh, take advantage of liberal policies, i.e. welfare. You know, they're taken care of by the government, even though they say that, well, uh, I'm raising this kid by myself. No, you're not. You're raising it with the help of, of a government, of the government. And, um, you know, what this kid is going to see is you're getting shit for free. Uh, basically, you know, I don't have to go down the list. You're just emulating what you, what you see your fucking mom doing. And, uh... This is why we have so much trouble within the uh, the black community because you have these dudes when they start growing older into their teens and uh, young adults, they run around with the same mentality. This is why you'll hear motherfuckers um, getting shot because someone uh, scuffed another dude's shoe. Someone looked at somebody funny. They don't know how to sit there and, and, and critically think, you know, is this fucking worth it? Because there was no dad in the house. There was no fucking father to instill logic and critical thinking and perception to say, for, for this dude to sit down and say, hey, listen, some things in life, you just got to go. It ain't fucking worth it and walk away from the situation. And that's what you have. Um, so it, it, it this, this, this is just like a, a gigantic, vicious cycle. You have, you, and, and this goes into women picking the right dudes. Women raising their fucking standards, which I've been talking about for years on this channel. When you have these females that run around and, and they'll say, well, um, Peter or, or Jerry or whoever is boring. But I'm gonna go deal with uh, Tyshawn and 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 uh, Raekwon over there because they're fun. Um, I, I need I need a roughneck. I I need a thug nigga, you know. And then you know, mind you, this Negro isn't doing shit. He don't got shit to his name. He may have some minimum wage bullshit job. And then what this what this hoe is gonna do is she's gonna sit there. She's gonna go fuck this dude. Let this dude bust nuts in, in her shit and pop out a couple of kids. Then when that dude or bad boy does what he's supposed to do, be a, a, a thug and a bad boy and dip on your, your ass, then, then her ass wants to sit around and say, well, I want child support from this dude. But this motherfucker, he, he didn't have shit to his name. So what the fuck do you want? What did you expect him to do? You know, this brings me to a, um, a Judge Mathis episode that I, I watched a while back and um, this was with a white couple but it's attributed uh, attributable to y'all um, because you know this this lady said you know she was suing her ex or whatever and she was like you know I liked him you know he was a bad boy and this and that and Judge Mathis said whoa, whoa hold up he goes you know I don't understand when women say that uh, because women will sit there and say 
you know, I want a bad boy and this and that. And then when that bad boy starts doing bad boy stuff, then you end up in front of me in court. And that always resonated with me because, you know, a lot of y'all women got to be careful what you wish for. But um, I know I know that's going to fly over some of y'all heads. But OK. Um, but, you know, you women will this goes into the whole um, shit where you don't want to deal with, you know, the guy that's getting his shit together, the guy that's studying, the guy that's trying to build something. And then you'll turn around later and say, well, you know, uh, I, I want to deal with you now when you got a shitload of baggage and and the dumb boys are effeminate and fighting over a fucking what lipstick they're gonna use and this and that this is what you want a, a nice guy to deal with and then that nice guy becomes the villain when he says no i'm not dealing with your stupid ass i'm not no i wanted you then i don't want you now that you're used up and you got them fucking uh 20 bastard kids that that um you want me now to 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 make them be men no i ain't gonna deal with that fuck that and i don't blame dudes for for doing that shit so um, this is what you get. This is a vicious cycle. Um, I think I'm going to cut it off here because I'm kind of repeating a lot of the shit that those YouTubers I mentioned, uh, you know, have said in the past, you know, but it, it's all it's repeated because the same shit keeps happening. And until shit changes, um, then um you know, the message is going to stay the same. So, uh, again, shout out Marvelous. Shout out to uh, True Teller 410. Look out for his part two to this. And um, that's all I got to say. Everybody else, y'all know the deal. Leave your love. Leave your hate. Most of all, subscribe. And that's it. Peace, bitches.